Hi, so I want to do a follow-up to um, the video I put and why did I join Siki and then um, have a couple other videos of why I became a Sikh. So, um, the comments are always interesting. Uh, you know, I'm not Punjabi. Um, I do have a little South Asian, West, uh, West Indian type mix, but I'm not Punjabi then, as far as I know. Um, so that's not the reason I came, you know, I became a Sikh. I became a Sikh because I like the philosophy, I like, um, the, the scripture, I like some of the ideals that, um, Sikhs had. Um, but, you know, it's not perfect. There's, you know, in the Sikh community, there's some issues, um, especially now more of fundamentalism, uh, fundamentalism and um, some kind of sometimes very conservative ideas about certain things, some things that aren't even in Garbani. Um, it's also, you know, very much um, tied to Punjabi culture. And if you're not South Asian or, you know, look South Asian or um, look Punjabi, you can have issues, um, you know, adopting the Sikh type of lifestyle, um, both from Punjabis, South Asians, and non-South Asians. Um, so, I've almost, it was about two and a half years since I took Amrit, and I've gone through a lot. I've gone a lot through uh, some introspective moments, um, you know, a lot of different things not just with my artwork, but um, just things I talk about, I talk about different issues within the community, own perspective, spirituality, and in all the while, you know, I'm having, getting, dealing with discrimination from family members, friends, um, co-workers, employers, um, you know, it's harder to find a job when you're a Sikh in the United States. Um, it's a lot harder to be respected. Um, it's a lot harder to, you know, even drive down the street sometimes when you're wearing a turban. Um, so, it's definitely not an easy path. It's not something that, you know, I ever thought I would do. And recently, I started, you know, snipping my hair or cutting my hair, and people had big issues with it, and they're like, you know, I'm and da 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 and I'm just like, you know what, you know, I broke some taboos, that ship has kind of sailed at this point, um, I do what, you know, I feel like doing to me, which makes sense for me spiritually, um, primarily because I'm initiated in another tradition, and also, um, you know, health-wise. So, you know, I was a couple times, you know, really sick at a certain point, and so my hair was just falling out. So it didn't really make sense to, you know, keep my hair when it was all, not, you know, different lengths just to keep it just for religious reasons when I just shaved it all off. Um, you know, I also had, you know, family dealing with cancer, and, you know, it's kind of hard for me to be on a soapbox about hair when, you know, you have, like, aunts, um, cousins, mother, you know, doing chemo and the hair falling out. So, you know, things just kind of put things in perspective for me, and, um, you know, I, I'm I'm me. I mean, like I'm Monroe before I am anything else. So I just try to be myself. I try to be my authentic self, and I try to be um, always trying to evolve into something better than what I was before. Um, I can definitely say I can look back and see. You know, I'm definitely a different person um, than I was several years ago. Um, but also, um, I don't know, you know, 
know, some good things, some bad things. Um, we all change with us different experiences, positive and negative that happen in life. And the goal is to kind of learn from those experiences and keep pushing towards that evolution and enlightenment. So, yeah. I just wanted to um, talk about some things and update the video and, and probably start putting some more things out there that are a little less controversial. If you want, you know, I'll 